Hey guys, my name is P Town Rocks, and today I wanted to show some of the visual cues and setups that I'm currently using for the brand new skip that's been found in Final Fantasy X, known as Terra Skip or Mushroom Rock Road Skip. And so, what I'd like to do is hopefully run through the skip about 10 times, show off some of the visual cues that I've been using and I'll be turning off encounters for this. And I'm not going to be using the uh, any percent run so that we're required to do classical skip. I'll be using the CSR mod so we can get right into the visual cues. And so to begin, the uh, for only, only tutorial I've seen to date, which is uh, a good tutorial, but I've found to be less than sufficient, is one that recommends using the rock around Titus's hair hair, body, shoes, you know, feet, what have you, to identify your visual cue for where you want to line up Titus here. And we'll always be pushed on the way back. We'll let him do that for a minute. Well, that is uh, good, but I find that the visual cues are rather ambiguous. The first visual cue that was recommended is, is using this kind of black dot above Titus's hair. And what I've found is that using the minimap in the lower right, and the crosshairs that are in the minimap, I'm finding to be much more useful. And so here I'll get out of our friend's way again. And so here is what I would recommend as a very solid setup for an easy two-time push MRR skip. And the dream is that we can find a way to do it consistently in one push, which would save a lot of time, as you'll see here. If you haven't seen this skip yet, you have a, it's a way to considerable amount of time for the NPC to run through. So here is the visual cue that I'm using for push number one. And there's two walls as we go through MRR you're required to clear to successfully perform the skip. And so visual cue number one I've identified, you can see in the boulder on the right. It has a line running through the middle of it, this curvature here. And you can see, and he'll hit me again here, you can see the crosshairs on the minimap, and my, my recommendation, the first thing I do, is align the middle crosshair directly in line with that curvature. And so we're not there yet, we're not there yet, and now we're directly in line. Now, for your visual cues, if you find mine to be a little ambiguous, well, you'll have to figure out something on your own. And you can try to use, what I'm using are these white dots on the left. And this one in particular right here, above the upper left cross here, I inch toward it until it has one sliver of white remaining, right there. Hold walk so I don't move with Titus when I turn around. And then prepare to talk to the NPC. So my first visual cue, which is always easy to identify, is lining up that, and then inching left until one sliver of this white dot remains. And so we can kind of inform ourselves as if it worked by Titus's movement here. And he should go upright, upright, and then hopefully to the left. Good. And so this is an ideal, easy, two-time push, and now you can stop talking to the guy. We are past wall number one, can't get through it, and ready for wall number two. And this is one of my favorite setups because it's so easy. Again, use the minimap, and all you do is is hold walk and inch to the left until your minimap aligns with the edge of the curvature of the boulder. Just like that, right there. And so you can see here, I have a gap here between the edge of my minimap and the edge of the inside part of the boulder. Simply get those lined up and then prepare for your final push. So that's about right there. Maybe one more, and so that looks good. You'll need five pushes through from the NPC, and then you should be successfully through MRR skip. And this has been the visual cues that I have found to be reliable. But there are some things that can occur, actually. And uh, I have developed a couple backups for if some, you know, hopefully rare scenarios occur, as this usually works fine. And you can see I'm, I have it. And we will be through MRR here. And I could probably stop now, actually, and so I think I will. 
and we can go ahead and run. Minimum, I would say five pushes. Uh, you might want to do six to be safe. And so there we've successfully performed MRR skip. And so let's run through it. I'd like to run through it up to maybe 10 times to see if we can identify some of the outlier scenarios that can arise here. And I'm doing this on PC, so I'm not, uh, I don't have an emulator, but we can actually get back into this really quickly. And for speed, I'll make sure we turn encounters off. And so here goes our second MRR attempt. I'm going to do it faster to demonstrate, you know, that the time you have to do the setup is not huge. And so align the middle cross here, and then a sliver left of our white dot, our white friendo there. I feel like I might have overshot it slightly, and of course you can always just reset it. That's about a sliver left, and so we'll see if that's correct. And so you can see you don't have a ton of time, but you know I had enough time to reset it if I overshot what I felt comfortable with that white dot there. And to the right, to the right, to the left, boom. And we're in there for what we know is now past wall. Ooh, here is a soft lock scenario. And I got pushed too far to the left. Now that's why I concerned myself with the reset. I thought I might have been one pixel too far to the left. And so there's an example of what happens when you have overshot that white dot too much. You don't want to get left boxed there. And so on our third attempt, let's be a little less aggressive with covering up that white dot. And uh, we'll get right into it. Do it first, NPC cycle. Align the curvature in the boulder right there. Then our friendly white dot. That looks pretty good. Just a sliver of it. That's more than I had last time remaining. I thought I might have overshot it. And I would love to develop some other visual cues here, and I have, I don't even know if you guys can pick it up on the, on the uh, screen though. I actually do use a third, and if this one looks good, I'll mention what it is. It looked good here, it lined up. And so to the right, to the right, and then hopefully a little bounce to the left. And then we continued left last time, you'll notice we're not continuing left this time, indicating that this is perfect. And we'll let him through now. And we have the easy setup, which is my favorite part of this. Just align the minimap with the inner curvature of the boulder, and you're in there. And so it's always a little painful to wait for this NPC, but we will. The other outlier situation I've encountered, I believe, is when you are not too far to the left there, like we found with the soft lock, but when I'm one to the right, maybe one or two pixels to the right, you'll still be able to get through MRR in two pushes. But there are... There's a situation which arises in which you will actually be required for the NPC to push you on his way back, to get you back into the right uh, box because you can get right boxed and uh, not allow him to push you through the second time and so here to the right to the right to the left and number three push number four push number five and we're in there probably we're good on the fourth and one thing I would like to work on is identifying when I'm through the wall for time save so I'm not taking extra pushes for no reason and so, good successful third attempt. Now, maybe let's demonstrate if we're too far to the right. So maybe this time I will intentionally try to be to the right. So we can try to show what happens if that occurs. And again, I'm not going to waste any time here. Let's just get right into it and counters off. And so align our curvature on the boulder. There it is and then uh, cover up the white dot and that one is a little bit to the right I would say if not perfect and so let's see how this looks I have a feeling it might be one to the right of last time which might mean we're gonna get the scenario where you are pushed to the right so let's see you can identify it really quick Titus makes a pretty big jump 
on his second. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So now we're going to the right, but this so this might uh, bring up the scenario where you need to use a different visual cue. And does it? No, it does not. So even though here Titus got pushed in a different method, actually, yes, this does not. And so here we'll line it up with the inner curvature. That's overshooting it a little bit. You can always just reset it. Always holding walk, of course, for the fine-tuned movement. It feels like Titus might have gotten pushed a little deeper into the uh, into this wall than he should be, but I believe we should still have this work. Another thing I'd like to try to try to work on is timing the soldier, the NPC. So you're not, you can see there, I have now five text boxes that really have done me no good. And so this should be very successful to get through wall number two once again. And we're probably in there by now, but uh, we'll call that the final one. And there we go. So successful attempt three out of four. And that one, I was hoping to actually try to bring up the other scenario, and so maybe this time I'll intentionally be a little farther to the right. But I've, I've really uh, thought that this is the better way to go, using the minimap, the crosshairs, the visual cues on the, the boulders surrounding the minimap are, are so much less ambiguous than Titus's hair. And so let's go ahead and try to figure out if we can identify that other outlier. I can normally get the one I've shown off here three out of four times very consistently, but I do want to try and show off what you do if the other scenario can occur. And so we're lined up with the middle. That looks a little bit to the right to me. And so let's see if this can maybe produce the outlier scenario. Gotta love the two-time Phoenix Down pickup, huh? And so to the right, to the left, and so we're actually going to have a nice, easy setup once again. So I guess I'll try to err on the side of the right even more next time. We were in there before that push, I knew that. And so here we have our... Oh, okay, perfect. This is the other scenario. What occurred here is I was pushed way farther into the, into the wall. Now, you can see here, if I line up the minimap there, I'm, I'm way in a different position than I should be. Because Titus's general position is over here, the minimap in no way informs us now. Now what I'm using in this scenario, and so we've got in the outlier here, that every once in a while I can get into when I'm too far to the right for the first push. Now for this visual cue, you want to use the minimap right here. In triangulate, you can see the uh, boulder, with the chocobo's foot with the minimap. Turn around and boom. This should get you through wall number two. And so this is the other visual cue that I would recommend memorizing. It's a very simple one. And I believe you're pushed to the left here, which is good. As this will get you through. Even though it looks a little scary and you're through. Kind of a different way through. And so let's see if we can do that one more time and successfully get through when we are given the other scenario here that can occur with a, a pixel to the right. It's, it's interesting how just one or two pixels can produce a really different result with this skip. And so we identify our first visual cue right about there. And then we'll try to be, you know, I would call that a little bit to the right, actually. Right about, well, there. Yeah, and so we'll see if we can produce that result again. And so again, I'm using that white 
dot here, covering it up a certain extent until it's nearly gone, but a, a couple slivers remaining. Not one, but you need at least two. And let's see here. Two pushes to the right. And what is our result? We are through wall number one, and we have the easy setup. Okay, so we'll align the mini-map on the left with the very inner curvature. You can see here, lining up, lining up, lining up, lining up and hit it. Well, overshot it. And I would say hit it right right there. That looks fine. The first setup is very specific. The second one I don't believe is as as specific. But I, I have not had a problem with it yet. But the nice thing is this visual cue is so easy to identify. It might be one reason why it, it never seems to fail. And so we should see our friendly NPC coming in here hot. Of course, the dream is the one push, and there have been uh, runners who've gotten it. I have never gotten it myself. It appears to be something, you know, a little bit luck-based, which is unfortunate, but uh, you can see the, the massive pipe dream here in time save would be, would be the single push, and we're through here, and so we can run on. And so, nice, easy, 5 out of 6 MRR skip. And we'll run through it, how about one more time? Seven times a charm. But I think that uh, this is a, a much better method than the, uh, the ambiguity of the... Titus's hair, which is generally the way that we've uh, done skip setups with Titus's hair, his hand for Guado Salam skip. Oops, I must have made encounters frequent. My fault. Hopefully we're not... <laughs> and I said, good thing we were not ambushed there. And so enemy encounters down to none. And so do our setup, line up the curvature. Oh, I'm way off here, aren't I? Over here. A little farther, and I will call that perfect. Tell you what, I'll do one more attempt after this where I will try to allow the NPC to run into Titus for time save. Oh, that was a big jump to the right, quite surprising. And this might be a scenario which I was hoping would occur. Good, okay. Here is outlier number two. That can occur, and you'll notice we're through wall number one, but not through wall number two, and there's no way to get over to where Titus needs to be. His hair right now is about where he needs to be. And so in this scenario, here's what you want to do. And I'm going to have to wait a considerable amount of time because when this occurs, what you want to do is be prepared to be pushed back through. You're actually fine here. It's not a soft lock. It is a little bit of time loss just in the, in the amount of time it takes for the MPC to push you back through the wall. And uh, what will happen is you'll retain wall number one, but you'll be back to your normal position. It basically, I think, will move you from the, the right box to the center or left box. And so you'll be basically returned to the normal scenario and setup that we have gotten used to so far. And so hold up left and then prepare for the NPC. You just jam yourself into the up left corner. It's all you do and then just, I, I did a little hasty there because I forgot I had him coming. And so here we're through wall number one, not through wall number two. And so you don't lose much time, you just need to catch it quickly enough to allow him to, you know, like I showed, jam into the up left in that prior scenario, just release run, face him, and you'll be pushed back through to our usual scenario here. And so we'll inch toward the inner curvature, line up Titus, and uh, we should successfully be through Terra Skip here. And so I'm glad that we did one more to uh, show off what occurs and how you get out of this scenario. And with that, I think we've kind of covered all of our bases for MRR Skip, Terra Skip. Shout out to Terra who found this three or four days ago. 
And uh, if you guys would like to see these runs performed live and uh, this skip performed live, check out P-Town Rocks. And uh, we will be doing these CSR uh, runs with Terra Skip. And if you haven't actually seen it in its entirety, you run down here and you are through not only MRR, but also Sin Spawn Gui 1 and 2. And you emerge on the other side, ready to run the uh, Jose High Road. I thought I sensed my old man there. And with that, I'm P Town. Somewhere. You guys rock. Hope or that helped out for your uh, skip. <laughs> and take care.